Hello everyone, welcome to Screencast ID SC10042. In today's screencast, we are going to configure our onboard radius server. We will be creating user groups and uh, user pools. So let's get started. Based on our topology uh, defined in SC10061, our captive portal policy will reside on the AP. As seen in this diagram, our AAA server will reside on the RFS controller. When the user associates to an AP, it will be redirected to a login page. That login page will reside on the AP itself. That's where the captive portal policies are enforced. Once the user provides its user credentials, those credentials are then cross-checked across the radius server that would be running on the RFS controller. Create the user pools and groups. Let's log into our controller. We will first navigate to configuration, then to services. And then under radius, we are going to create our groups. As you can see, currently there are no groups here. So we'll go ahead and click add. Let's give our uh, group uh, a name. Let's call it the guest group. All I'm going to do is uh, enable access uh, seven days a week, 24 seven, and click on OK. Let's uh, commit and save our changes. Let's uh, exit out of here. The next thing we need to do is create a user pool. This is where you would create username and passwords for your clients or your uh, users that come into the network. So we're going to click add. I'm going to call this again, the guest uh, user group. Let's hit continue and let's add our first user. I'm going to call uh, this user as uh, Moto1. I'm going to set the same password as uh, Moto1. Let's make sure it's the right one. Now this user has to get mapped to a group. It's from this group to inherit uh, all the parameters like what role it should get or you know how, how long access does it have. Let's click on OK. Let's exit. Let's commit and save our changes. The last thing we need to do is create a radius server policy. So let's click on add and let's call this as a guest. Uh, the only radius user pools that we've created is the guest user. So we're just going to go and highlight that. Let's uh, click on OK. Let's click on commit and let's click on save. So we've essentially created a, a group which defines uh, what roles a client would get or what uh, what group a particular client belongs to. We've then go ahead and created some uh, user pools which has a username and password called Moto1. Uh, and then finally, we have a server policy which uh, maps these user pools uh, into. Now, the AAA server is going to be running on board. So once uh, the clients start coming in, uh, they're going to start cross-checking everything across these groups and pools and server policies. You can download the configuration file for this screencast at the link shown on the screen. Thank you for watching.